Hello and welcome back, in this video we are going to sign up for web hosting. If you haven't watched my previous video on different types of web hosts, feel free to do so before going further. In that video I explained the most common types of web hosts, as well as the pros and cons of each type of hosting. Same as before, feel free to skip this if you already have a web host, or if you are familiar with the process of signing up for web hosting. Our web host of choice is a small orange. I've used many web hosts over the years, but ASO is the only web host that really stands out. With a small orange, I have never encountered downtime. Their speed is excellent, their customer support is a pleasure to deal with, and they are definitely the web host that I would recommend. Fire up your browser, go to www.asmallorange.com, and when you're there, click Find Your Perfect Plan. Here we can see a summary of what is available to us. The hosting that I recommend for anyone that is fairly new to building websites is shared hosting. If your requirements are different, feel free to choose another option. If you need to upgrade or downgrade in the future, you'll be able to do so as well. Click on Find Out More under Shared Hosting. Depending on your requirements, you can choose a plan that fits you best, but for the scope of this tutorial, we are going to go for the small option. It offers you decent storage and bandwidth, unlimited domains, 24-7 support, and is only $5 a month. When you hover over Order Now, you get the option of paying monthly or annually. If you pay annually, you'll get a nice discount as well. Bear in mind, if you choose the annual option, you'll pay for the entire lump sum upfront. Choose an option you prefer and proceed. You'll be taken to a page asking about a domain. We already registered a domain and we are going to point it at this web space, so choose the third option. Enter the domain you registered earlier, then click continue. Choose a billing cycle you'd like, notice if you pay more upfront, you'll get a discount and a free domain. You'll be presented with extra add-ons, but for now we are going to ignore them, then click add to cart. Make sure everything is correct, and when you're set, check out. Fill in your details, billing, contact, and payment information, read through the terms of service, check the box, and complete. Make sure to note down the information you enter under your details, as the email and password you enter here will be used to log into account management later on. After a few moments, you will arrive at the confirmation screen. Click on the customer area link and keep this tab open. Log into your email and you should see a couple of new emails. Keep in mind if you're using Gmail, there may be emails that get sorted into different tabs by default. So make sure to check all tabs. And if you're using other email providers, make sure to check all the different folders you may have. The email we're after is titled New Account Information from a Small Orange. This email contains important account information, so make sure to keep it safe. Scroll down and you'll see two columns. The left is the billing login information, and on the right you will see instructions to getting your cPanel password. Scroll further down and the details for your server, name servers, and FTP will be displayed on the left. Email settings will be displayed on the right. We'll first request a password for cPanel, and in order to do so, we'll first need to change the default password. Make sure to write down your cPanel username, as we'll be using it later. Go back to the customer area, click on your services, then click on view details. Go to the change password tab, set a new password for your cPanel, and when you're done, click save changes. Go back to the email, take note of the username for your cPanel, then scroll to the top and click on cPanel login. Enter your cPanel username, the password you just set in the client area, then click login. Your cPanel is now fully set up. Next, we are going to point your domain to your web space by configuring DNS. 